Welcome to the Beetle Breeding Channel. Today, some news about uh, Gideon Beetle, Xylotrupes Gideon. Uh, there are three things we have to discuss. First, what happened with my four larvae that I brought from here, Switzerland, to there, Bangkok, beginning of uh, September. You remember that uh, they originally came from two females from the Chotu Chok market from last year. So it was just uh, like bringing them home in their country. So this we can make a little bit short. I show you here a video from the hotel in Bangkok when I arrived 8th of September. I had my four larvas together in a plastic box and I transferred them into new substrate from the beetle shop in the JJMO Bangkok uh, special kabutomite. Uh, that I bought for them and there uh, they were. I was hoping that they will transform to beetles until the beetle festival 8th 9th of October but they still were uh, pupas. In two uh, cases they were pupas and two days after the beetle festival uh, O sent me a picture with uh, over the Facebook and he said you are father <laughs> that's your son so uh, one uh, pupa showed uh, from that four larvas the other state now are in the stage of uh, pupas also and I hope that all sends me some more pictures as soon as they come out and emerge as adults the four beetles that I brought back from originally uh, Bangkok. So that's the story. So they couldn't take part in the beetle fights uh, in uh, nor in Pua, not in Bangkok, but hopefully next year if they have some offsprings they will uh, be there too. So, but I brought also some very interesting beetles from Chiang Mai. Um, you know probably that the director of the Siam Insect Zoo Mr. Bin, he has a strain of white-eyed Xylotrupes Gideon from Thailand. It's a species, a subspecies found uh, near Chiang Mai and I uh, could manage with him that he gives me one pair to try to breed them here also in little Switzerland. So this is one box. And the other thing is that I always wanted to check my box is with the Gideon Sumatrensis. I know that a lot of people here in the YouTube Beetle Breeding channel, they wait for new videos about my Sumatrensis because they seem to be very attractive for everybody here in the Beetle Breeding channel because they are so big and they have a specially shaped uh, horn. So there were seven Alorvas L3 between 20 and 24 grams here. So see what we can uh, find whether we find some larvae, whether they're still living, whether they are pupas, uh, whatever. So f first side from the top you see a lot of a lot of pellets, only pelletized material, pretty wet. So there's no newly changed pellets. So I would guess they are in pupas or they are already adults or in the worst case they have died. So hope we have a result in the first two stages that I mentioned. So let's see what happened here. So that's always very interesting to have a look here. Oh there's still a lot over there. So here's a block of pellets. Oh, there's a larva. This is quite near to pupation, I would say. Xylotrupes Gideon Sumatrensis. Let's go further down to this block. Also here, I see another larva. Also on the bottom. Also this looks like being in pre pupa stage and the whole material is uh, 
it's palletized now. So interesting that we don't find a pupa here. So but let's, let's see, probably we will find one here. And I take them away from the light because that's what they don't like so much. And I put them each one in a little of these pig pots. Hopefully also we find some pupas here. So let's see what we can find. Whether we are lucky to find some. Oh here's another lot of They are all pretty big here. So they must be close to pupation. And I have to pay attention, I don't put down my camera here. So, and here are the other ones. I think they are all still nice and big larvas. Xylotrupes kiteon at uh, subspecies from Sumatra. So they are still uh, more here, so they're really nice larvas and all of them living. Let's see whether they are pupating. No, there's no, but it's two, four, six, seven. Seven larvas. What was written on the lid? 7L3. One month ago, so they're still living. That's a good sign. I will change some material here that they can eat some more of that stuff before they go into pupation. I would guess in uh, one month or so they can go there. If you look at them, I, I will clean one for you to just have a better look for that. This is typical for Xylotrupes gideon, is that they are a little hairy. And um, I, I hope that you can see the fine hairs here on the skin, the reddish hairs on the skin of Xylotrupes Gideon Sumatrensis. Now, let me bring them back and we go on. I mostly, I think, I use this material because it seems pretty nice here. Also for pupation, it seems not a problem because there is uh, a good moisture content here and I think in this kind of substrate they can easily build their pupil chambers. Also I don't see many uh, earthworms here. So we put them back like this. Seven nice big crops of the famous Fighting beetle, not from Thailand, but from uh, Sumatra this time. So, and as soon as we finish that, we have a look into another box because I have a second box with larvas of Gideon Sumatrensis, and I also would like to check there. And then, at, for the for the finish, we will go to see the white-eyed Gideon. So, now this is, uh, it says 12L3, also a pretty big one, 20 to 30 grams, from a female February 16. So this is around eight months, that it's too early for them mostly, for pupation. But let's see what, what we can find here. Lot of water, big ones. They just uh, fall out here. Piece of wood for playing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, already one pupa here from a small male. Voila. We just save it here. male, small male pupa of Xylotrupes Gideon. It's nice to take them out. Oh, here's one in the stage close to becoming a pupa. So we have to save this also. It's pre-pupa in the last stage 
of the closer you see that here so we will put them away into separate boxes to take care of them so this is one two three oh here was the uh, pupil chamber so we have to be careful not to throw so already here you see the, the nice palletized material so let's see what more larvas one two three also smaller ones more larvas here another one big one so they are also quite good shape so let's see what's here there's no purple chamber <coughs> So we have big larvae here, and and already two in a pre pupal stage. Also here, so look at this nice big crops here of Xylotropus gideon. The two of them here, I will save in a little pit pot like this just to then finish their exclo exclosion into the pupil stage so that's what I do with this one this is a pre pupa larva and then the second one here is the pupa itself you can also clean them if you want that's not a problem because you know that it's a they are protected very well with a, with a very thin layer of heating and one of the problems that can happen is that the pupil chamber collapses and then they might die because earth is coming close to their skin and earthworms or other uh, parasites can enter the body of the pupa so that wouldn't happen here we just put him into this little box here I also probably uh, I think this kind of a bit pot would be enough for him don't forget to put with the head upside that's uh, interesting to see put it like this uh, that would be good for them for a closer and the other ones they just go back uh, to the box where they come from with the piece of wood for playing of course so that they don't feel alone and have fun here until they close as adult and hopefully big and beautiful Xylotrupes Gideon the Sumatrensis so I didn't count them but it seemed to be around 12 of them in here Yes, and now, just to show you, let's see whether we find the Xylotrupus Gideon from Chiang Mai, the white-eyed strain. I want to have a look whether we find them here on top. I don't see them, but probably if we go into the substrate a little bit we will find them here because I want to give them some new food also oh here is the mail look. whoa very nice look at this white eyed strain Xylotrupus Gideon Gideon yeah you don't see the white eyes because I Turn him a little bit so that you can see it here. Yeah, like a moon, huh? The eyes are like a sh moon shining here. Yeah, strong boy. Uh, leave him in. The female, hopefully, is in the substrate. <laughs> Laying eggs. A lot of them, I hope. And you, my friend, you go back 
with a nice piece of mango because I know that you like this. Like this, okay. Uh, because this is a very rare strain, I have to pay attention that to survive here. But hopefully this nice man here, he will stay with us a long time, hopefully, so that we can uh, find some more offsprings of this white-eyed strains in some time. Look, he's already start eating from the mango. Two seconds after he feels something yummy coming to my mouth, so he's already eating. Good sign. Also, I'll leave a little banana. If the female shows up here, and that's it for the moment. If you want to see the interview with Pin from the Siam Insect Zoo, there's a new kind of guided tour through his uh, breeding facility in the Siam Insect Zoo. Of course, if you are in Chiang Mai, you have to go there, definitely. If you are not there, you have not seen Chiang Mai. Also, Pin and his family and his father, the famous Thai entomologist Pithut, uh, they were at the Beetle Festival in Bangkok and I made some interviews with him also. So if you follow the playlist here or subscribe to the channel, you will see them in the next time. I have uh, dozens of new videos for you collected on my uh, traveling journey in Thailand and Vietnam. And they will show up hopefully in the next weeks here. So if I have time to cut some new videos, you will see them now in the next week. Thanks for watching, stay tuned, all the best.